Hi all folks, this is Max from uh, NexusSHacks.com. So a lot of you have been asking me, how do you unroot your Nexus S? I have a tutorial on Nexus S 4G, um, but the Nexus S is a little bit different because there's three models. Um, you either have i9020T, which is a T-Mobile version, or you have the i9023, or you have i9020A. Um, for i9020T or i9023, um, you can use the same unrooting zip file. Um, I'll have the links below. Download the i9020t underscore i9023.zip for those phones. Um, and for i9020a, download the i9020a.zip. And then you connect it as a USB drive and copy it over to your phone. Okay, once it's copied over, um, you can just turn off your phone. And then we'll put it into uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery and install it. Um, this will erase everything, by the way. Um, so make sure you back up everything. Hold down the volume up and the power button until you see this. All right? And let's zoom in so we can see a little bit better. Next, use the volume down button to go to recovery and hit the power button. And I'm, I'm assuming you have the latest Clockwork Mod Recovery. If you don't, you can on a rooted Nexus S, you can go to um, ROM Manager and simply install it, flash it from the free ROM Manager app. Let me adjust the camera here real quick so you can see better. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stop real quick. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, apply update from SD card, not install from SD card. Update, update, apply update from SD card. Hit the power button. Oh, whoops. You know what? Let's try this. Install zip from SD card. Um, choose zip from SD card. And find the uh, i9020t underscore i 90 23.zip. If you have the other one, it's i9020a.zip. And simply say yes. And uh, this should install a completely stock ROM and uh, erase all your personal settings. Um, and uh, you should be back to stock. And all you have to do um, is do OEM lock, which I'll show you using Fastboot. So I'll be back when this is done. So it is done, and uh, let me go check that. Uh, go back and mm -hmm. reboot system now. And uh, let's see if it boots up with the new the stock ROM. So I'll be back. Hi, all folks. So I rebooted. Um, I still have these uh, apps here. I forgot to erase um, personal data. I forgot to wipe. But that's not a big deal. So let's go do that real quick. Let's turn it off. But I don't have super user anymore. And we're going to also double check that we lost clockwork on recovery. Um, so hold up and the power button. And then we'll go to um, recovery and simply erase all our personal data on our phone. And make sure you back up anything you need. Um, I think you hold up. Volume up and power. No, is that volume down? Um, if you, there we go. Volume up and uh, power button at the same time. And wipe data factory reset. Hit the power button. Say yes. That way this will erase all your um, other apps that's on there. And it's wiping, wiping. And let's reboot system now. And I'll be back on this reboot. So I rebooted. As you can see, it's back to a square one. I'm just going to skip everything and make sure all my apps are gone. Next. All right. So there you go. All my other apps are gone. Now it's all stock. Um, we're going to do one more thing. We're going to lock it back. Um, so turn it, turn it off. Power off. And then let's get back into bootloader and get into fast boot mode. Hold down the volume up and the power button. And then, oops, I think I messed up. There we go. Um, connect your USB cable to your computer 
And you'll have to uh, use fast boot to lock it. As you can see, it says unlocked, and we're gonna go change that. Next, what you're gonna do is uh, download this file called fastboot.zip and unzip it. Um, see, I've got it unzipped to the root directory of, of my C drive for Windows. Um, it also works on Mac or Linux. Um, just have to know how to browse to it. And then go to start um, search and type CMD to open up a command prompt. And uh, let's go to command prompt or terminal for Mac. Um, go here and browse to the directory using the command CD where you unzip the fastboot. For me, it's going to be CD backslash fastboot. That's my Korean font. It's not a W. It's a backslash like this. All right. And then you can do fastboot uh, OEM lock. And this will lock the phone. Um, for Mac or Linux, you'll have to, well, let me do this real quick. And lock. And as you can see, it changed to locked. Um, for Mac or Linux, just do fastboot dot slash Mac, uh, fastboot Mac and then OEM lock for Mac. And then for Linux, Linux OEM lock. And uh, that should completely unroot your phone so you can take it back to T-Mobile or whatever your carrier is. Um, or if you're trying to sell your phone off. Anyway, um, that's how you unroot a uh, regular Nexus S. Um, thanks, y'all. And subscribe to my email list and YouTube channel. Thanks.